purpose of this video on Vedic mathematics is to show you a different way of doing addition and also checking your work. Now, some of this might look slightly familiar, some of it might be a little different. The checks, I promise you, are going to be very different. And I think you'll like them. I think they're quite interesting myself. So, just one thing I've noticed about, I mean, you probably noticed it yourself, is the addition signs on the other side. Hmm. Already looking slightly different, yet slightly familiar. And we in the um, West usually start at the right and kind of go over here. And just as something to try, start on the left side. And so 2 plus 3 is 5. And we just kind of do a quick scan to the column before and just see, is there anything that needs to be borrowed? And in this case, I mean carried over, in this case there isn't. So 3 plus 2 is 5. 4 plus 1, 5, 55. Nice thing about it is both Western and the Vedic method come up with the same answer. Okay, now, checking. The way that I was taught in third and fourth grade was the way you check is you go 55 minus 21 and you get back to 34. Totally valid way, and obviously most of us know that method. And I'm just going to propose just a different way, which is a Vedic style. So what you do is you're looking for the digit sum of each number. So 3 plus 4 is 7. The digit sum of 21, 2 plus 1 is 3. And 7 plus 3 is 10. But since we're getting to the digit sum, we're only going to end with a one-digit number. So 1 plus 0 is 1. I know it looks a little bit weird that sometimes the inside mathematician in me goes, <gasps> 7 plus 3 is not 1. But we're kind of just, once again, we're exploring new territory. And 55 is 10. And once again, the digit sum of 10, 1 plus 0 is 1. So this is a modification of one of the sutras, which is the product, who this is a mouthful, I'll probably type this on the screen for you. The product of the sum is the sum of the products. Yikes, that's a mouthful. And in this case, the variation on that sutra is digit sums, okay, so the digit sums of the sum is the sum of the digit sums. And I think I'll write that down and post that because that's a lot to think about and keep straight. It's kind of one of those tongue twisters. So, moving on to the next problem. 75 plus 26. Once again, starting in the left column and just kind of noting, noticing, do we need to flag the number? That's actually a native term. Put a little on the flag. So, oh, 7 plus 2, that's 9. Oh, but I noticed in the column before, I'd actually have to carry 1, so that's going to be 10. And 5 plus 6 is 11, and I've already carried that 1 over, so I just need to put the 1 there. Doing the check, once again, Western style, you would subtract 101 minus 26 to get 75. In this case, once again, we're doing the digit sums of the sum. So 7 plus 5 is 12. Once again, we get to a digit. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 26, 2 plus 6 is 8. 3 plus 8 is 11. And 11 is 1 plus 2, I'm mean, sorry, 1 plus 1 is 2. Checking over here, 1 plus 0 plus 1, so 1 plus 0 is 1 plus 1, 2. So what really makes this nice is that when you have a really long problem, so you can kind of see where I'm going here, If you had to get your digit sum and then subtract this, you know, this number from this number, that would take a lot of work. And I mean, even in the Vedic system, you know, you think about adding all those numbers up, seems like a bit of a task, although shorter than going backwards. 
However, if you watch the next video called Casting Out the Nines, this problem becomes almost as easy as this one. So casting out the nines, check it out. You'll be quite impressed. And also it ties in with the nine point Vedic circle. So if you haven't seen that video, they all kind of come together. Once again, it's a very integrated math system. And I think if you watch all the videos together, it'll really kind of make a lot more sense and you'll kind of see the interconnectedness of it all. Great.